Hello YouTube! Today I'll be showing you guys how to identify computer parts. Whenever you scuff computers, what parts contain what kind of metals? So, let's start. First of all, I'd like to get through some of the less precious metal bearing items. Here's the first item. Power supply. This thing's usually found in um, the top left hand corner of the or the bottom left hand corner depending on your computer of the computer tower itself so this thing plugs into a slot on the motherboard which is the next piece it's usually located close to the um see um the motherboard um near the connectors so for example this connector would connect right there on that motherboard right there and also this connector as well so inside these power supplies there's really not that much a low grade board a couple copper bearing motors and transformers heat sinks and some IC chips and possibly some surface mount technology and a whole bunch of wire so that's pretty much it all it's encased in this um steel box here also there is a fan there which contains some copper so that's all you have inside this power supply so next what I like to do is I like to talk about the fan there's usually two fans inside um, computers most of the time or it could just be one it basically helps cool the computer and the CPU down to an optimal running temperature without it overheating dying on you so it acts as a kind of protection um, for the computer tower. Without it, your computer can overheat and it can cause damage. So this is very important. Basically, there's some wire here. And you got yourself a copper bearing motor in here. Some ball bearings and such. Um, these can sell for a lot of money on the um, eBay. So you want to see if you can sell this first. Because these things can go for more than a few bucks. If they're in good shape. So anyway. So next thing I like to talk about. Is the floppy drive. Your disk drives here. There's a floppy drive. Basically floppy drives are. Um, outdated now. They don't really use them a lot. But for those people who still use them. Floppy drives are extremely important. These guys usually have a low grade board in them. With some beautiful gold plated connectors at the end some motor right there and two others probably in here or maybe just one more and a low grade board like I said nothing special just a little chip there with some little um, monolithic ceramic capacitors on there and just a whole bunch of steel so most of the time people just remove this board and then chunk the rest for steel unless you want some extra motors then dig in deeper so next we have a disk drive here this is a CD drive there can be two of them in here CD and DVD drive there can be multiple of these just like the floppy drive and they come the floppy drives come in multiple sizes which I forgot to say but anyway so this piece here um, does contain some gold in it I'll have another video or I might already have one on my channel I'm not too sure might as well have to go and check out and see but anyway, um, yeah, I don't think I have one up yet. So, anyway, if I do apologize, um, so what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, um, these things are mainly steel with a mid-grade board in them and a little bit of gold where the lenses, um, actually where the laser diodes, um, generate the laser from. That has some gold plating in there. So... You can just get those that gold board out of there and maybe that gold diode if you want, if you're a bit daring. This will require some Phillips heads to open. But other than that, there's really nothing much inside this thing. Moving on to the hard drive. I have taken this ribbon off so it's easier to remove it. So, there we go. There's some shock resistant material. This is the hard drive itself. As you can tell, there is a high-grade board in there. It's called Logic Board. These guys can sell for a lot of money um, at your scrapyard, or you can collect them and sell them online. 
if you choose. But if you do plan to process them yourself, you want to get off those gold-plated pins on the back with all these chips and a couple monolithic ceramics, these big um, brown things on the board. And inside you can find some aluminum and some super strong neodymium magnets that are very, very, um, have a very strong magnetic pull. So they're kind of fun to take apart. You will require Torx bits to take these off. These are six-sided screws. And once you get that, you can pretty much take apart as many of these as you want. But on occasion, if they're old enough, they will use Phillips heads. But that's on a rare occasion. Now next, I'd like to go over the motherboard. So the motherboard is the most important of all the um, boards in the computer and components. These serve for all the connections to the computer. You got yourselves just gold plating all over the place. So, you know, you got your gold plate connector there. This one's disabled because it's missing one of your, um, I guess, connectors. Connector, like, to secure the RAM, which we'll go over in a minute. And it also has all the connectors to the input-output um, modules for, like, gaming and keyboards, mice, monitors, pretty much everything that you need on this board. Um... So yeah, this is where you would put your um, uh, connectors, like cards and such. And you got your cells, um, these here, which you would plug into your floppy drive, your hard drive, and your CD drive. Power supply piece, RAM, like I said, CPU, and just, that's pretty much all I will have there. There's a lot of precious metals on this board here. You can see those three chips there, tiny one there. And your two major chips, your north and south bridge chips, which look like um, black squares with some green board on the outside. A little bit of um, gold-plated um, edges there. Those pieces have very high yield data for them. So you want to save those or just sell them as is. This piece is what you call a um, green motherboard. These are usually higher paying than, let's say, any other color which is Chinese so they're mainly lower end um, and lower value pieces as they require less precious metals to manufacture so yeah that's it for this board moving on we got ourselves our CPU here so this is an example of a CPU this is from a Pentium 2 computer it's a slot processor these guys have a um, high grade board inside of them these are nice and there's a nice piece of aluminum on there as well. I don't want to move this thing because I want to keep this for my collection. But if you do process it and plan to save it yourself, there are some gold-plated edge connectors in there that you want to trim off. Or just sell that part as a mid-grade. So, actually high-grade possibly. I'm not too sure. There's another type of um, CPU here. This is a ceramic CPU. These things are heavy and they have very high gold yields, up to 0.50 grams range. Um, these guys sell quite well as collector pieces, so you want to try to sell these online and for the appeal of collectors because you don't want to um, discourage them and um, you know make them wish they had some of your CPUs. So you want to save these and you can get a lot of money for these things if you sell them as collectors rather than the very few um, low amount of gold you can get out of this thing, though it's much higher than other um, electronic components. Try selling these online first before selling it to a scrapyard or processing it yourself. So on the back here, you can tell there is some more gold pins there and a nice piece of gold um, plated um cap there so that's another example and here they've gone to fiber fiber um, CPUs are very easily um, detectable they're just very green and they're extremely lightweight and they are very thin gold plating so yeah there's a whole bunch of pins there which you want to remove with some heat um, to salvage the gold pins yourself um, there's no gold-plated uh, bonding wires inside this um, CPU here. 
So it's pretty much worthless. The only gold here is stuff that's visible. The gold pins and the gold plate. And both sides there. So, just the differences there. The green ones are smaller and they have less gold. While the older ones are bigger and ceramic and have a lot more gold in them. So, that's all for that piece. So now, we got ourselves the cards here. They can come big, or they can come smaller. Both of these, what they have in common, are that they are um, both rich in gold. As you can tell, that nice gold plated edges there. As well as some chips and some monolithic ceramic capacitors on that board. So you want to trim that off, but for these old ones, you want to try to sell because they do have a lot more collector's value. For people who do old computing and like to collect old computers, these can be very nice to have. But since these are broken, they're dead, I'm just processing them myself. Excuse me. Anyway, so the edges are gold plated here, these two um, modem connectors, as well as there's a little copper bearing motor and a speaker, and a whole bunch of chips on that board. So, same here plate there and we got some chips there and yeah a couple of six ceramic capacitors on that board and as always that nice gold luster now here's a ram stick so um they come in two types these kinds the gold ram as well as the silver ram which I don't know where it went but they look just like that, um, except they're smaller, and they use uh, tin plates instead of gold plates. So those don't have as much value. But yeah, this thing is covered with chips. There's eight of them, nothing on the back, but you can tell there's some nice gold plate on that piece. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you found that useful when you scrap computers what you know you want to get out and pretty much to scrap a computer so I might have a video sometime in the future I'm not too sure when um, all you gotta do is just remove the screws and take out the wiring and everything and speaking of wiring there's some computer wire here the edges are gold plate here and there a lot of people pass these, um, just chunk this whole thing in with your wire when they don't realize that they have gold plated ends, which these can go as your gold plated connectors. Same here, these connect your um, hard drive, your disk drives, and your floppy drives to your motherboard. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you found that video useful. Please like comment and subscribe to the East Scrap Man for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.